Hi, welcome to this Callisto tutorial. This video is meant to introduce you this new bioinformatic tool called Callisto and show you how to run Callisto on Odyssey. Callisto is a program for quantifying abundances of transcripts from RNA-seq data. The two most important differences between Callisto and other quantification methods is that Callisto quantifies on the transcript isoform level rather than the gene level. And also, it is an alignment-free method, meaning it determines the compatibility of reads with targets without the need for alignment, but instead by comparing to a transcriptome index that itself takes less than 10 minutes to build. On benchmarks with standard RNA-seq data, Callisto can quantify 30 million human reads in less than 3 minutes on a Mac desktop computer. However, read assignment to transcript isoforms cannot in general be done unambiguously, so there is an intrinsic quantification noise or variability in this process. Callisto can thus be run either in a single step or in bootstrap mode, in order to get uncertainty estimates for the expression levels. Therefore, Callisto is not only fast, but also as accurate as existing quantification tools. Running with bootstraps is mandatory if you want to perform differential expression analysis of isoforms with SLUTH. One disadvantage about Callisto is that it is primarily meant for quantification of an existing set of FASTA sequences. That is, it does not perform transcript assembly and it cannot quantify the expression of novel transcripts that are not in the transcript index that you provide to it. Next, I will show you how to run Callisto on Odyssey. First, you need to write a shell script which includes the standard information for running jobs on Odyssey, such as the queue you want to be in, the job name, estimated running time, required memory, and your email to be notified. Callisto is already installed on Odyssey, so you just need to load it using the module load command. You can always check if there is an updated version and how to load it through the link on the side of the slide. To run Callisto, you first call the Callisto quant function, which quantifies abundances of the transcripts in the RNA-seq data. In the quant function, you can specify dash i, the location of the transcriptome index, dash o, the Callisto output folder for each dataset, dash b, the number of bootstrap samples. The standard is 100 but you can try different bootstrap numbers depends on your data set. Dash T specifies the number of threads to use for bootstrapping. And finally, the location of the two pair and fastq files. Now you have the shell script ready to run. Second step, submit job to the background on Odyssey. You should upload the shell script you just wrote to your Odyssey working directory. Submit job using the sbatch command, followed by the document name. You can monitor your job using sq-u command, followed by your Odyssey username. Then you can have a coffee, because for this assignment, each RNA-seq takes about 10 minutes to run, and an hour total for all six datasets to be done. Once the job finished, you can find the results of a cluster run written in the specified output folder. The contents of each folder are three files, abundance.h5, abundance.tsv, runinfo.json. The main output of the cluster quantification are the abundance estimates in the abundance.tsv file. For each transcript, abundance is reported in estimated counts and in transcripts per million. The runInfo.json file contains a summary of the run, including the number of targets used for quantification, the number of bootstraps performed, the version of the program used, and how it was called. The abundance.h5 file contains the main quantification together with the bootstraps in HDF5 compressed format for large outputs of runs with many bootstraps. Now you are ready to perform differential expression analysis with SLUTH 
which will be covered in the Sleuth tutorial in more details. If you need further assistance with cholesterol, here are some useful links that you can check out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and feel confident now to try running cholesterol by yourself. Good luck!